Now it's time for no one's favorite part of the show. This is the worst of the week. This week's worst of the week comes to us courtesy of a local Minnesota flea market. Yes, yes, I flea market a lot. And I was at one recently and uh, somebody had a movie poster for sale, a very fun movie poster kind of in the style of a family circus or Indiana Jones map uh, where it's, yeah, it's a map and it shows like kind of dot, dot, dot from thing to thing. And it was for a movie I had never heard of, Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death. I, of course, bought the movie poster and then I looked online. Sure enough, the thing was free to watch online, so I thought I would give it a go. Now the movie is, like this is like the epitome of a USA Up All Night movie. And if you remember USA Up All Night, you know what I mean, and I think you do. It, it's also a very tongue-in-cheek movie. It's a, attempting to be sort of an Amazon Women on the Moon sort of a movie. Now, if you remember Amazon Women on the Moon, you might remember that Amazon Women on the Moon is not a very good movie, and neither is Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death. The plot, such as it is, is that Shannon Tweed is a uh, feminist uh, film professor, and she finds out that her like uh, mentor has gone missing in said Avocado Jungle of Death, and so she, with a sidekick, a lady sidekick, and then her ex-boyfriend, Bill Maher, playing a, uh, a chauvinist pig-type character, which, you know, so real far off the mark, uh, they go deep into the jungle to try and find said mentor, played by Adrian Barbell. This movie, it, has, it could have been fun, and it has its fun moments. You know, there's some fun silliness to be had here. Here's the thing, there's about 15, maybe 20 minutes of fun silliness in an hour and 20 minute movie. So, you know, woof, that's a, that's a toughie. That is a toughie. And I don't think I would have made it through the movie had it not been presented on the streaming service where I saw it by one Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. However, as stands, like, yeah, it's, you know, it's too much movie, it's just way too much movie, and as a result, it gets very boring and it all feels very cheap. Uh, it's certainly exploitive, but that's not necessarily a uh, deal breaker. Here's the, it, the weirdest thing though, is despite all this, despite the, despite the Bill Maher um, chauvinist pig character, despite the lady sidekick character being very much a, and I'm sorry to use the word, but I think it's appropriate here, a very stereotypical sort of bimbo character, this movie might have a feminist message in it because it does become very much about self-determination and even though Shannon Tweed is trying to convince her sidekick throughout about the, you know, the, you know, the importance of feminism, she has to admit by the end of it that, you know, that she should pursue the life she wants to pursue and that in his own way is feminist and that is difficult to argue. So like there might be a good message somewhere in the core of this. It's hard to tell. It's almost as if it, it did so despite itself, which is weird. Cannibal women in the avocado jungle of death. Two stars. And don't forget to visit our website, northmetrotv.com slash everymovieever. There, you can watch reviews of every movie we've ever covered here on the show, as well as complete episodes. That's northmetrotv.com slash everymovieever.